Hi guys, I'm going to do a range test on my 2023 Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. So we're um, going to charge at work uh, to full and then we'll start the range test from there. It's currently 7 degrees and uh, I've got 73 miles. So we're just going to plug in and then um, do the range test on the way home. So uh, we're now fully charged, we're at 280 miles, let's just take a quick look, 100%. So as you can see, charged, fully charged up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put navigate uh, to home. And uh, then we'll see what this actually it says that I should get home with 82% and it's 35 miles. Let's see how accurate that is. So, first trip done. Uh, I think you said uh, that we were meant to arrive around 81, 82%. I've actually arrived at 84%. Um, I'm going to end the trip and then we're going to have a look at the stats um, and see what percentage and mileage and everything else we're on. So let's have a look at the battery first of all. So we're looking at 219 miles left and we started with 260. We've done approximately 37 miles. Um, so that's not bad. Um, it is 7 degrees outside. It's been really windy. Uh, about 23, 24 miles an hour winds, um, so a bit chilly, and heating on, so, you know, a few things to take into consideration. Um, let's have a look at, I think it's the energy, actually. So, um, what it shows here, actually 40.6 miles consumed. Um, and it said last projection would have been 217 miles we're actually on 219 miles um, but yeah not too bad to be honest um, that was a mix of uh, slow and fast roads um, so it's a, a reasonably good um, good comparison for the first um, trip and um, yeah, to be honest, I'm I'm quite happy with that so far. What we're going to do though is that we will I'm going to park up at home. I don't have home charging, so I'll be parking up, leaving the car with sentry mode on overnight uh, between six o'clock in the evening, and probably leaving for work around seven half past seven in the morning. Temperatures are expected to drop around four or five overnight as well, so that'll have a an impact so um, around 218 219 miles as of day one and we'll see how that's affected overnight in the morning and then we'll do a the same trip again to work and uh, to work and then we'll work out what roughly the range of the car is going to be I will be charging when I get back there anyway but what we'll do we'll do a wrap-up summary of how much range so that gives me a good idea of an average day an average speeds um temperature wise um you know it's, it's it's pretty good as well for for a test i did get this when it was minus one um the car and it performed pretty well to be fair the the mileage and what it says it would do um, when it got to a destination was pretty much spot on so um, so far so good so uh, I'm going to wrap up this day today and I will see you in the morning morning everyone so uh, yesterday we returned home with 200, about 214 miles after starting from work at 260 miles we've left the car overnight with sentry mode on and um, it was about four or five degrees last night. And uh, so when I looked at the car this morning, it had 205 miles. So nine to 10 miles loss overnight. 
and then I've just preheated the car, which is lovely. Preheating the car and preheating the steering wheel um, is now at 203 miles. So it only loses 2% when you kind of preheat the car. And it's now 6 degrees. So we're going to do a journey to work, which is about another 35 miles. Um, and then we'll see how much we have uh, when we get there. I'll just do an estimate of uh, on the uh, nav of uh, how much we get there. Then we can roughly work out generally how much range the Model Y 2023 rear wheel um, in real world actually has. So let's have a look at the sat nav. So it's going to pop in work and how much it says. So it says we should get there with 65% on the battery. So we'll take a look at that when we get there, um, see how much percentage and mileage is, and then we'll I'll probably summarize after work roughly how much um, I think that this Tesla is good for range wise. Hi guys, so um, just a bit of a summary then of my range test of my Tesla 2023 Model Y rear wheel drive. Um, so when I started this morning, it was 205 miles. That was after leaving the car um, overnight, not plugged in with sentry mode on. Um, average kind of loss about 10% each night. And when I got to work this morning, it was 165 miles. So 40 miles for a 35 mile journey. All both uh, local roads, B roads, A roads and motorway. So a bit of everything. Um, so working out an average week for me and uh, the mileage that I do, it should work out that if I were to do the same miles each day, around 70 miles, um, so 70, 140 for sort of two days, um, and then maybe charge on the third, um, which will take me to about 210. If I add those three days with 10%, uh, reduction on um, not charging overnight and leaving it um, off off charge um, with the ten percent, so it's another thirty, so about two hundred and forty miles. I generally think that this car could easily do that. Now, when you go to full charge, it says two hundred and sixty miles. I generally think this is at least two hundred and thirty, two hundred and forty real world range. Um, which is pretty impressive. Now, bearing in mind the temperatures have gone between, I don't know, four overnight and now 12 degrees. So there's a little bit of difference and you will get a bit of reduction in the winter, as you'd expect. Um, that has been with various things as well, like heating on, preheating and cooling down today. Uh, so I think for me, um, having work chargers, I could get a full week on two charges at work alone uh, with it being left uh, over overnight without being plugged in with sentry mode on so that's pretty pr pretty impressive um, the other thing I'd notice as well and I've said this on a previous video is that if you if you say you've got a full charge and you put in where you want to go and it gives you a percentage you'll arrive at and the amount of miles and stuff that's pretty damn accurate. Now, would you, you would you go down to 0%? No. Um, generally, I think, like most cars, 10 to 20 miles, or, you know, in this case, I'd generally get down to about 10 or 20%. 10% is about where I'm comfortable with a Tesla because that 10% is quite a lot, and it allows you to get to certain um, charging locations. So I think all in all, range-wise, this is pretty damn accurate and um, you know from what I've seen so far the um, the Tesla's efficiency and um, being pretty a pretty accurate is, is, is all it's just been really good and reliable for me without home charging now I do have to realize that prolonged periods of time 
Same like over the weekend, you're not just going to have obviously overnight that 10%, you're going to have during the day, so say another 10%. 10 so over the course of the weekend, I could potentially lose up to 40 plus percent, 50 percent, uh, sorry, 40 or 50 miles, I should say. Um, did you do that? Yeah, about 40 or 50 miles perhaps without without being charged without charging perhaps so there is a, a downside for me not having home charging that, that those periods I do try and sort of charge at some point or at least charge to a, a decent rate if I'm in the office or on the Friday um, generally if I'm out and about anyway I'll charge while we're out uh, um, as well so it's never been a problem so far for me and actually having the Tesla with um, faster charging up superchargers and that bigger range has just helped enormously and it just makes the entire week easy. Now I will be doing, I suppose, more of a, not necessarily a range test, but a journey up to Scotland at the end of May and we will be tracking um, chargers we use, what speeds we get, uh, range we get, and generally the whole sort of Scotland trip. Um, so look, look um, forward to that. Don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe if you want to see uh, see that upcoming episode when we when we do that. Um, but yeah, I think for efficiency, range, and accuracy of the battery, I think it's pretty spot on. So anyway, I hope that was useful for people. Um, rear wheel drive Tesla Model Three 2023. Um, there'll be more videos, various other bits and pieces in the coming weeks, and I will see you soon. Bye.